everybody, it is Tanya, Thrifty Treasures. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another thread up unboxing. And um, some of you guys might be saying, but Tanya, this isn't reseller related. But you know what? It kind of really is because if you live like in a remote location or somewhere where it's a little bit harder for you to get inventory, it might be too expensive or whatnot, um, thread up is a great way to store some inventory for you to resell. So, and also I wanna give a big shout out to Anne over at um, Ann Eckhart is her channel. Always wanna say see Ann say, but that's what her channel used to be called. It's a hard habit for me to break. <laughs> so it's just Ann Eckhart. Um, I'll link her, link her channel below so you guys can go check her out. But today um, I am gonna be doing a coach unboxing. So, and that is what Ann, Ann had done one of those too. And it was really good. And I really liked everything that she got. So I thought I'd give it a try too. Um, now, I recently did the jewelry box one, and that was a lot of fun, so there's no doubt in my mind this one's going to be fun too. Now, I will tell you, this is my second attempt at making this video because I thought that this box right here was the um, fun box because I ordered two boxes at the same time. So I ordered the fun box, which you get like 10 pieces for $15, and then I also went ahead and ordered the coach box, which is $80 uh, with free shipping, so that's good and you get five coach purses, which is what Ann did. Uh, so I went to open this and I was telling everybody it was about the fun box, blah, blah, blah. And I open it up and I see the uh, invoice and it says $80. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is the coach box. <laughs> so I don't know why my fun box hasn't come. I ordered them both at the same time. So um, I'm not sure, but today we are definitely going to be opening up this uh, coach box. <laughs> so let's get started. So I did already, I opened it up and looked at the invoice. That's all I've done. So again, very nice, oops, very nice packaging here. Um, and here is my invoice and it says uh, rejection box. Okay, so whenever you go to the website, you guys, you don't want to look under goodie boxes. You want to look under rescues. And um, that's where you'll, where you'll find all the rescue boxes. And that's where you'll find this coach box as well, too. And also, I'm going to put um, my link so you can um, uh, click on it down below if you guys want to order one. I'll get, I think I get $10 if you order one and you get a $10 credit too. So it works out for both of us. Okay, so first bag, they wrap each one individually. This one looks like a really big one. Oh, wow, that's nice. I like this. So this is what the first one looks like. It's really a big one. Lately, I've been carrying like the crossbodies just because I like to be hands-free like when I shop or thrift. But this one's really nice, nice little um, shoulder bag for sure. So let's see what the inside looks like. It's pretty clean. Uh, there are some pin marks on there, but this is what the inside looks like. I can smell the leather too. And then here are the pin marks I was talking about. You probably can't even see them. Right there, over there. But yeah, it smells like leather. It smells really good. And all the hardware on there looks really nice. So yeah, really nice purse. Okay, let me set that one right there. Okay. Next one is a gray one. It's heavy too. So nicely packaged. Let me make sure I'm still recording. <laughs> what a fiasco, right? I can't believe I thought I had the fun box in here. And the reason I thought that is because it was so small. Seems like I remember seeing Ann's video. It seemed like her box was bigger. Maybe she didn't even have a box. I don't know. But I just, I guess I was just thinking in my head, a box full of purses would be bigger. <laughs> and I thought this would be a good size for a fun box. But yeah, okay, so let's see what's inside here. Oh, wow, this is nice. So it is a gray coach purse, and that's what the back side looks like. And this one is super dirty. Ooh. Now come on, thread up. That's horrible. That's really dirty. I don't even want to sell that to anybody. And I don't even want to try and clean it either. Oh my gosh, I think there's a piece of food in here. That's just gross. That is disgusting. Okay, I am not impressed with this bag at all. Ooh, it does smell like leather though. 
I can't believe they would send me a purse like that. Oh. Okay. Next purse. Definitely smells like leather. More of a classic look to it with gold hardware. Can definitely smell the leather. It smells really good. And the interior is brown. So this one looks to be a little bit cleaner. So here is the front or the back. I guess they both look the same, really. And then that is the inside. It smells really nice. I would definitely uh, resell this one. I might even keep this one. I don't know. Is it blue or is it black? I can't tell. Anyway, it's really nice. I might keep this one. <laughs> we'll see. If I do sell that gray one I just showed you guys, I'm definitely going to take pictures of the inside and I'll probably have to sell it for next to nothing um, just because it's so dirty. I know that my friend um, Tammy over at Tam's Place, if you go check out her channel here on YouTube, she has a video about how to clean the interior of purses, uh, specifically the coach purses. So um, go check her channel out. She's got great tips on how to do that. She does a really good job at cleaning them too. So. I just don't know if I have the patience to do all of that. Okay, so here's the next one. This one is more of a fabric feel to it. Uh, what does that say? It says something there. Goth. What does that say? Gotham. It says Gotham. Okay, like Batman, Gotham City? I don't know. Uh, the interior is nice and clean, very nice. It's pink, and it has this nice little um, center pouch here. If you guys can see. Yeah, this one's really nice. Very simple. I like that one. So that is number four. And number five. Oh, this is a nice purse. Let me fix this. Uh, okay, so you can carry this one like short, like with the handle, or you have the option to carry it on your shoulder too. It comes with two different straps. So it's a nice uh, tan color. And there's the back side. And then it says coach right there. Yeah, this one doesn't smell like leather quite so much as the others. Um, but here's what the inside looks like. And it looks pretty clean, you know, very, very clean. Nothing like that crazy gray one. So that was really nice. Nice little winter purse, neutral color. Pretty much goes with everything. And here's a little pocket on the front, a little pouch. That's nice and clean too. That's nice. I like that one. And there is another one. There's something small. So, so Ann did get uh, six purses in hers too. They say five, but they kind of give you a bonus one. So that's cool. So I see something small in here. So let's see what's in there. Oh my goodness. This is so stinking cute. It's a little wristlet. How cute is that? Oops. So it has a little coach little buckle closure and the interior is purple and then it also zips this way it's really clean very nice that is really cute I like that one so I'll probably definitely be selling it if anyone's interested so yeah so I got six purses for $80, which is not bad. Um, and I'm very pleased with all of them except for that gray one. Uh, the interior on that gray one was extremely dirty. So um, let's recap. Okay, so we got the tan one. Let's come back in here. And the Gotham black one. And this one, which I haven't determined if it's blue, navy blue or black yet. It might be navy blue. Probably looks black on the video though. That one's really nice. 
and then the gray one. I mean, the gray one looks nice from the outside. It's definitely another neutral purse that's nice to have for um, winter time, for sure. I mean, no one's really going to see the interior but you, right? Whoever the owner is. And it's way off in the corner, so you really can't even tell. Like, when you look in there, unless you, like, pull it, and then, then you see how dirty it is. It looks like, honestly, it looks like somebody's, I don't know, lip liner maybe. Some kind of makeup uh, got in there. And then number six is this one. I love the classic coach look too, like with the monogram stuffs. So that's really nice. This little pouch here to put stuff in. So yeah, that is my um, Thread Up Coach unboxing. So that was a lot of fun. Um, I'll probably definitely be selling some of these locally, maybe on some Facebook groups. Uh, probably won't hassle with trying to sell these on eBay uh maybe poshmark we'll see so um i hope you guys enjoyed the video be looking for another thread up unboxing for me um because hopefully that fun box is coming i was really excited i watched some other um people doing unboxings of the uh fun box and they got some really cool stuff like some um name brand sunglasses and scarves and i think a wallet so there's definitely nice things that can be found you know in the fun boxes so um Please subscribe if you haven't already, like the video and share it with your friends, and we will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everybody.